One of the most powerful and celebrated men in opera faces allegations of sexual misconduct that spans several decades. Numerous accusers told the Associated Press Placido Domingo tried to pressure them into sexual relationships by dangling jobs and sometimes punishing them professionally when they refused his advances. Domingo says the claims are inaccurate. Nikki Batiste is here. Nikki, what else are we learning about these accusations? Good morning, Anthony. Good morning, everyone. We're, we're learning a lot of details. Plac Cito Domingo is regarded as one of the greatest opera singers and conductors of all time. But the 78-year-old is now facing a number of accusations of sexual harassment and abuse. Eight singers and a dancer told the Associated Press they were sexually harassed by Domingo over three decades beginning in the late 1980s. The accusers allege the encounters happened at venues that included opera companies where Domingo held top managerial positions. One accuser said Domingo stuck his hand down her skirt. Three others said he forcibly kissed them. Domingo is a multi-Grammy award winner and director of the Los Angeles Opera. Only one of the nine accusers would allow her name to be used. Patricia Wolf sang with Domingo at the Washington Opera. He would be in the wings waiting for me and he would come up to me this close and he would say, Patricia, do you have to go home tonight? You also think as soon as you walk away and get away, you think, did I just ruin my career? Domingo has issued a statement saying in part, the allegations from these unnamed individuals dating back as many as 30 years are deeply troubling and as presented inaccurate. I believed that all of my interactions and relationships were always welcomed and consensual. None of the women could offer documentation of the alleged encounters, but the Associated Press spoke to many colleagues and friends who they confided in. The AP also independently verified the women worked where they said they did and that Domingo overlapped with them at those locations. The AP also noted that these women did not want to disclose their names for fear of retribution still in the opera Some industry. wiggle room there in the statement. The, the accusations as presented are yes, inaccurate. Are inaccurate. Yeah. Yeah. That's about. Too. Yes, it'll be interesting to, interesting to see what happens. And you were asking, these women say they are now coming forward because they're empowered by the Me Too movement, mm -hmm. like so many others. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it's a very familiar story. Thank you very much, Nick.